Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan P. Butler. This time we look at something that's kind of Star Wars? Uh, kind of not. It depends on, as Obi-Wan might say, your point of view. Man, Obi-Wan Kenobi, big on those alternative facts, right? Now, the item in question this time is something that often found its way into Star Wars Home Video Collectors' collections, but it did so depending on... Were they Laserdisc collectors? And if so, did they have a THX sound system at any point? Or do they just like things that have a teeny tiny bit of Star Wars to add to their collections? If the answer to those was yes, then yeah, this probably wound up in those collectors' collections. In my case, I'd seen it around a few times, and I wanted to make sure I got a chance to talk about it, at least a little bit in that Star Wars Home Video guidebook that I'm in the process of writing right now. So I went and picked it up, and thankfully on eBay... It can be found for a relatively decent amount. That item is this. Now, it's sometimes called the THX Laserdisc. Sometimes it's called THX WOW! Because there actually is content on here called THX WOW. And it is relatively often uh, that that particular small snippet of this, it's like a sizzle reel, gets scanned or gets uh, digitized and stuck on places like YouTube. But this in and of itself isn't really THX WOW. WOW is just a piece of it. It's one chapter of this particular laser disc. Others sometimes simply call this the THX demonstration disc. Okay? And the reason for that is because if you look down at the bottom, called the THX demonstration disc, THX system demonstration disc, it's because down at the bottom it says not for resale, for THX system demonstration only. So... THX System Demonstration, that's what I'll call this thing, but you see it called different names depending on who's talking about it. But basically what this is, is it's a laser disc that you would get if you were to buy a THX home theater sound system back in the 90s. And when you set that up, you get this great dynamic range of sound that comes from THX versus all the previous sound options, and they wanted to give you something that would help to highlight it, showcase it, in case you wanted to Show people, hey, check out my sound system. Isn't this sweet? Or for a store that might want to play a sizzle reel to really show off the equipment to get people to buy it in the first place, um, but also something that would allow the user to optimize their system and get the most out of their new audio setup. So what this is is a combination of sort of a, a tech demo and a tech assistance type of product here. If you look at the back, you'll see a track listing. And the track list says, Table of Contents, Side 1, Chapter 1, WOW! Okay. Chapter 2, The Home THX Audio System. Chapter 3, Mode Selections. Whew, so intense. Side 2, Soundtrack! With an exclamation point, just like WOW had an exclamation point. Chapters 5 through 20, Alignment Test Signals. Woo, we're talking 1 kilohertz, 0 decibels, pink noise, Frequency sweep for the left channel, the right channel, rattle tests, that slap echo test, which is just, just strikes me as funny. I mean, is that? So, what we've got here basically is a demo, and it says, this disc is for use on THX audio systems only, because theoretically you could play this in any player, right? And any unauthorized use is prohibited. In other words, damn it, don't you sully the reputation of THX by playing this THX laser disc on some inferior sound system, you bastards. And it's kind of like if you go into a Best Buy and somebody who sells or produces 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays sees someone actually playing one on a 4K player, but they're playing the Blu-ray on a standard HD screen, not 4K, they might be like, why are you sullying the reputation of our material with your crappy inferior system? Kind of the same mindset here. A uh, little amusing to me. I always, it always cracks me up seeing that on here. So... Very simplistic front, just the warning, THX, track listing and stuff on the back. Uh, this is a Lucasfilm release because Lucasfilm is the company behind THX, and all the material is going to come from Lucasfilm archives when it comes to uh, films and whatnot that have clips and stuff on here. Um, but it's not really a Star Wars release per se. What makes this somewhat Star Wars is that THX WOW chapter. Essentially what it is, that THX WOW, you can actually go through... And there are tons of people who have already put this on YouTube. Just search THX WOW, you'll get a chance to see it. It's basically a seven to eight minute montage. Uh, or as they call it, a collage. We'll look at the exact wording here in a moment. It's basically a montage. 
It's Willow. It's all of the original trilogy films. It's the first three Indiana Jones films. Basically all just kind of like mixed together. And you got clips from them that play as this huge like super trailer. It's a sizzle reel, as they call it, to get people's attention. And it's all sort of thematic. So like maybe over here, it's a group of shots in a row where it's heroes and villains laughing. Right, so ha 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 
of 1995. So what I'm wondering is, is it possible that they reissued this multiple times and each time updated this and in doing so updated the copyright date? Or are those out there claiming that this came out in 1990 or 1992 rather than 1995 simply wrong? I mean, you didn't have a lot of THX home sound systems as of then as opposed to 1995. And certainly that was when Lucasfilm was pushing it with the Star Wars trilogy. And two years before that was when they were really kind of pushing it with the definitive collection. But are those other places wrong when they list that? Or are there multiple copyright dates depending on different issues and reissues of this particular Laserdisc? I don't know. This is not really my forte. Going into THX home audio sound systems and looking at their documentation and demo discs has never really been something on my radar until just recently, and really just with this. So I'm very curious to find that out. I just thought you'd like to see that. Just another odd little item here within my Star Wars home video collection. And definitely, if you are interested in the sizzle reel, just do a quick YouTube search. THX, wow, you're going to find it, and you'll see. Very simplistic, very straightforward. Pretty cool, but uh, arguably not Star Wars enough to consider it part of a collection. Just really depends on personal perspective. With that, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching. And may the Force be with the home video viewers.